guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x squared plus x squared is equal to x to the power of 4. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to subtract x to the power of 4 on both sides. So now we have x squared plus x squared is equal to, or sorry, minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor of all these terms, which is actually x squared. So now we have x squared times x squared divided by x squared is 1 plus x squared divided by x squared is 1 minus x to the power of 4 divided by x squared. Well, if we have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So x to the, four, four, x to the power of 4 over x to the power of 2, that's x to the power of 4 minus 2, and 4 minus 2 is 2. So this would be x squared. And this is equal to 0. Now 1 plus 1 is 2, so now we have x squared times 2 minus x squared is equal to 0. And now this gives us two equations. Our first equation is x squared is equal to 0. And our sec second equation is 2 minus x squared is equal to zero. Now for x squared equals zero, well this is simple. The only number that squared is that equals zero is simply just zero. So for this we have x is equal to zero. That is one solution. Now for a second equation I'm going to add x squared on both sides. So now we get 2 is equal to x squared. And now if I take the square root on both sides, I get plus or minus the square root of 2 is equal to x. So these are two more solutions to this equation. Guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3x to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take the power of 3 on both sides. So now we have 3x to the power of x to the power of 3 is equal to 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3x to the power of x to the power of 3, well, this is equal to 3x to the power of x times 3, which is simply just 3x. And this is equal to 
Now, a to the power of m to the power of n, this is also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. Because essentially, both of these are equal to a to the power of m times n. So they can change places. So right here, we have 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And this can be written as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And now, if we have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. As you can see here, 3x to the power of 3x, both of these are the same. The exponent and the base are the same. And same with here, 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 3. The exponents here are the same, meaning this would equal 3x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, we can either do this in two ways. Our first way is doing 3 to the power of 3. Well, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, so we get 3x is equal to 27. And if we divide both sides by 3, this cancels out, and we get x is equal to 27 divided by 3 is 9. Now, our second way is 3x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Second way is just simply dividing 3 at the start. And 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3, well, this is 3 to the power of 1. And if we have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 3 to the power of 3 over 3 to the power of 1, this is equal to 3 to the power of 3 minus 1, which is simply just 3 squared. And for our left hand, these cancel out, and we get x is equal to 3 squared, and 3 squared is 9. So we get x is equal to 9. So that's our second way. Yeah.